know, I cleaned up before. What's good is a P. Oh my. One in a billion and I'm back. He's back, y'all. It's your favorite diva, Dangerous Diva. Oh, yeah. And we're back for another hot, hot, steamy show. We back. We're back. We know y'all been missing us. We know. You know what I mean? We've been making big moves, big, big. See these muscles? Big power moves. Very That's what we've been big doing. moves. Some prizes coming for you soon. Very soon. I've got Dangerous Diva here on me. <laughs> oh. I don't know. It's Dangerous Diva's here or somebody else's. I don't know. Shut your face. You shave. Yeah, right. My, I don't got long hairs like that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's get into our show. <laughs> you know how we do. We just go on a tangent. It's somebody in India's hair or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So we got some crazy, crazy news, you guys. Mm -hmm. Crazy startling news. 30-year-old rapper Lil Wayne is in ICU. Mm. Startling news. I mean, he's so young, but um, there's some mixed reports going on. Mm -hmm. TMZ reported that he was actually in critical condition and they were actually reading him his last rites. They was, uh, they was uh, quote, like he was dead or something, right? No, it was like, and TMZ, you know, they're like legit. They usually get the news right mm -hmm. on the head. So for them to report that, that, that he was basically dead, fans all over reacted. No, we reacted. I was sad. Like, it was you, just, you heard a hype I just was a minute ago. Right. Yo, that was, that was sad to hear. It's crazy because. I'm hearing those talks, then I, I hear Mac Man and Baby, yeah. they talking, they like, man, we over here, we watching the game right now, we watching some college ball, like, they talking about they watching basketball with Lil Wayne, and then the other reports are saying that he on his deathbed, so I mean. I, well, I seen a tweet from Birdman said, my son is in good spirits, feeling much better, be home soon. And then Mac Main was saying, like, don't believe the hype that he's breathing on tubes and then life support, mm -hmm. he's fine. And then, in the midst of all that, if Lil Wayne is in an induced coma, how in the world is he tweeting? Exactly. He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. Thanks for your prayers. I'm all good. What? That's crazy. How can you do that? Like, even if someone from his camp did that, why would you do that when he needs all the prayers that he can get right now? Exactly. Why would you shun that? Like, to act like everything's okay. Who in their right mind would do that? Well, I guess everything, someone who knows everything is okay. Uh, do you really? I, I just don't, I don't believe that. I mean, I don't know. Reports are crazy. You see Drake going into the hospital with his head down. It's just like, Word. yeah, it's like crazy. He's going into the hospital. They said they had family members at his bedside boohooing. So it's just like, who knows what's true? At the end of the day, I mean, like I said, I'm praying he's okay, but suffering Definitely. them seizures alone is a big, bad, that's a bad thing alone. You know what I mean? That could just mess you up totally, just suffering those seizures. I, see, I know somebody that's, that have, well, I mean, seizure and a stroke is two different things, yeah. but, you know, those seizures, uh, they no good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I know a dude that had multiple, multiple seizures, he's got knots all over his head and all that. It's yeah, because when you knock out, you you black out and yeah. your body's just shaking involuntarily. Who knows what you, you know, you could really hurt yourself. Yeah, that's crazy. So, hey, hopefully the kid, hopefully the kid is all right, you know what I mean? And, hey, take care of your health. Make sure you get some sleep. Yeah. Like, and I'm stop, about to do it in a little while. Stop popping all those mollies and drinking scissor and you have a, a huge community following you. You have a huge flock of kids following you. You have a daughter to live for. So hopefully... A lot of kids to live for, I think, right? Yeah, he has a, he has a lot of kids. Mm -hmm. You got plenty, you got a few baby mamas, a few kids to live for. Hopefully you get your life together and turn it over to Christ. But we're praying oh, for Oh yeah. 